Today we're going to be installing screen protectors on my C8 Corvette. Hi, I'm Donna Marie, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be installing screen protectors on the gauge cluster screen, as well as the infotainment screen on my C8 Corvette by ScreenProtect.com. Now, I did a video not too long ago, just a few months ago, um, putting one of these on uh, on my C7 and it looked awesome and I had told the company when I was doing doing the one for the C7 and I said you know I'm gonna have a C8 coming here pretty soon it was already on order and I told them I says you know you wanna send me a set of those I'll go ahead and do it so they went ahead and they sent me a set for my C8 also so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in here and they've also given me a discount code that I'm going to give you so you can save some money when you want to get yours, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the, into the car now and we'll get the, uh, the camera in there so you can see how, how we put these on, okay? Alright guys, we're in the car and I've opened the package and I had elected to get an extra, extra screen protector, which I've already set it outside, but you can have one you can either buy it as a package with one, right? So you get one of each screen, or you can do it with two as a kind of an emergency backup if you screw up, um, or if you're going in, you know, going in uh, with a buddy, you can guys can share it. But uh, you, so you, depending on how you want to order it, you can do it just one or two screens. It also comes uh, with an empty bottle, but it already has the soap in it. So all you got to do is add a little bit of water to it and then just shake it up and you can see there that we've got a little bit of soap just enough to be able it's very light but it's enough to be able to make the the screens slide when we go to put them on okay so now if you've already pulled your protective uh, screens off um, you know then you're gonna have to definitely make sure that you get your screens clean before you you know before you try to uh, get all your fingerprints all that type of stuff off now this car is only now about a month old and I have purposely knowing that I was going to be doing this I purposely left all of my protective screens on so I'm not really going to have to do it I'm just going to have to soap it down and then I'll wipe it down um, and then we'll res we'll respray it but uh, like I said if you have been touching it with your fingers make sure that you get it good and cleaned off dry it and then spray it again so you can go ahead and adjust the the protector when you put it on there so um, I am gonna go through the basically go through the motions here um, but I really don't like I said I've been keeping my fingers on this so I'm gonna set that off to the side they also come with the, the kit comes with a little squeegee as well as a really nice really nice towel and you'll probably end up using that uh, you know to be able to clean everything it's just really really soft okay so we'll we'll use that I'm just gonna put my little one right here just to collect any other water that may run down just like that and I'm just gonna work on this screen first okay so and then it comes with a little squeegee so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just spray this down just you don't have to get crazy but just just spray it okay like that and then you're going to take your towel and you're going to wipe it down. Make sure that you're getting all the streaks, all your fingerprints off, um, all that type of stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. So now we've got that clean. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our screen protector, which these are already they're already pre-cut in here and uh, it's kind of hard to see that but um, this one here is for the cluster and this one is for the infotainment screen so you're just gonna kinda grab on the edges there with your fingernails and you're gonna peel it back and then what you want to do is to just lightly spray this you don't want it to you don't want it to stick um, to itself when you're peeling it off okay so you just spray it down that's just light, very lightly. You don't have to get crazy with it. Okay. Just like that. 
if you don't do this, eventually what's going to happen is that your screen, your screen protector is just going to stick to itself, or when you go to apply it onto the screen, it's going to, it's going to just stick, and then it's just done. Okay, so we've got this little guy all set to go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just spray all this, just like that, and then we're going to go ahead and put it up here. Now you'll see that still I didn't get quite enough on there, so we'll get it, get it to go a little bit more, okay, and then we should be able to slide it around. You can see right there, and so we're going to go ahead, we're going to slide this, slide this little guy, we'll get this to go all the way around here, okay. I'm going to bring my light up here so I can see this a little bit better. But you're just going to go ahead and get get it lined up with the buttons and on the edges of the screen. And you can see here that because I'm moving it, you know, that I've got it wet, it'll move. Okay. You don't have to worry about the bubbles or anything like that. Those will all go out with a squeegee. And if it starts to get sticky for whatever reason, let's see if I can put my light back up here we can actually, we can peel it back and we can spray it again. Just like that. You just don't want it to get dry behind it, otherwise it is it's definitely going to cause you lots and lots of problems. Okay, but you're going around that around that hole, right, and you're just getting it adjusted just exactly where you want it. just like that okay so now we pretty much got it where we want it we're just taking our finger you know my finger here I'm just using my fingertip to hold it then once you get it pretty much where you want it just like that sure Siri had to chime in then what you can do is you can just start to squeegee it to the outside edges just like that. And once it starts to grab, then it's it's pretty much there. So you just want to squeeze it and you're squeegeeing out all the water on the screen. And you're just going to go all the way around and you're just going to do that. So we'll just make sure that we've got we've got that perfect there. We've got that really really good there. Right, and I can get rid of some of this water that was right there. Okay, and now we can go ahead and we can start to squeegee all of this out. Just like that. Just like so. Got that. These tight corners might be a little bit harder to do. And just take your time. Just like so. We'll go around this button hole. Just like that. Alright. That's going around really nice there too. And then I'm going to push the rest of it out with my finger because it's just easier for me to get down in there. Just like so. Then when you get that right where you're basically you're wanting it, then you can take your towel and you can kind of wipe it out. You can use your fingers here like that to go around it and that is pretty much it okay now you're gonna see probably you may see some little bubbles um, in the screen and that will come that will go away 
um, just as the bubbles dry, as the soap dries behind it, and you won't even be able to see them. Okay, so that's pretty much it with this screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to move over to the main cluster screen. We're going to go ahead and we're going to um, pull the uh, the protective cover that the factory put on. Let's see if we can get that off of here. I uh, tried to keep it on until we did this video. All right, so we're going to pull that out, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to spray this down. Now I don't have to wipe this um, wipe this down because I didn't get any fingerprints on it. Like I said, it's it's been covered until now. Um, so if you've been touching your screen, you've had it on for a while, or you know, open for a while, it's probably got dust on it, so you want to go ahead and clean it. But um, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pull this off like we did last time. See, so hopefully you guys can see this. We're going to go ahead and spray it down. Okay, just like so. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. And then, like I said, we've got our we've got our screen that is nice and nice and wet there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on. So we should be able to move it around. Be able to move it around in, our, in here. And I'm really hoping that I can get this this screen to be able to be visible for you guys. I'm I'm really hoping here that you guys can see what I'm doing. But you want to wiggle it around because it is a little bit bigger than the opening, which makes it nice. So you can get it really totally surrounded, and that makes it really nice in there. Okay, but you want to make sure that you've got it. Got it nice and centered, just like so. Okay, and hopefully again, like hopefully your your screen is picking, you know, this the camera is picking this up so you guys can see it. Okay, just like that. Okay. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna spray it down a little bit again. This way your squeegee will work. And it'll slide. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to squeegee one way or the other here. And you start getting all the water out of it. Okay. Yeah, put that on there. Now that I've got the majority of the water out, now I'm going to come back with my my handy dandy little towel that they gave me and start sucking up the moisture. Okay. Just like so. So on the C7, this part is the harder side of it. And the infotainment screen is is the easy one. I um, can tell you right now on the C8, it's the exact opposite. There we go. Now you're probably, like I said, you're probably going to see some bubbles, okay? And you can get those out. And the ones that you don't get out, you'll be able to get those out. They will eventually just um, evaporate. And you just want to make sure that you've got all of your as many bubbles as you can out now. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And then what you can do is you can come back with your with a little bit of light spray. And you can follow it with. I've gotten that one towel kind of wet, so this one is a little bit, a little bit more dry. And this will kind of help get it nice and clean. There we 
we go. And the warmer it is, the faster those bubbles will will go away. If it's in the winter time, they will sit there probably for a week or so, but they will eventually evaporate. And I don't know if you can see, I'm just sitting here wiping these, and I can see them going away as I'm wiping them. So there we go. All right, guys, the screens are on, and you can take a look. Look how clear those are. Uh, I don't have the car running, uh, didn't want to start it, so you can hear the chime going, but take a look at that one, and take a look at that one. They just look awesome. You can't see no bubbles, no nothing, it's just super clear all the way around. It just looks great. So there you have it, guys. It just, uh, wow, what a... What a nice way of feeling that you're not going to end up damaging your screens. They just look awesome. So guys, that's all there is to installing a set of screen protectors on a C8 Corvette. And Screen Protect, they sell a lot of different screen protectors for just about every car out there. So if you're in the market, you need one for your C8 or you need one for your C7 or your Camaro or whatever it may be, be sure and reach out to ScreenProtect.com and be sure and use the code Corvette Channel to be able to get your 10% discount. So guys, I'm, I'm going to ask you one more time, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads, and I hope you guys have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching the Corvette channel. If you enjoyed this how-to video, like and subscribe to our channel.